Welcome to the podium, Senator Stan Humphreys. Well, good afternoon, Fancy Farm. It's great to have you with us today. It's good to see you here at the 138th St. Jerome's Fancy Farm Picnic here in Graves County, Kentucky. Commissioner Quarles, thank you for coming down here today and refereeing this year's event. You are certainly no stranger to Western Kentucky. We're glad to have you down here, sir. I appreciate the work that you are doing across our state. I would also like to thank St. Jerome's Parish, Father Darrell, Mark Wilson, Lori Wilson, and Stephen Elder and the volunteers that help put this on each and every year. This level of planning just does not happen, so congratulations to another great picnic. Senator McConnell, I want to say a big thank you to you, sir, for the work that you're doing. I want to say a thank you for what you do for us all across the state of Kentucky each and every day for supporting President Trump's agenda and finding a way to support Kentuckians across our state. Congressman Comer, thank you for coming today, sir. We appreciate that. No matter what your affiliation is, folks, I want you to know that Congressman Comer is working hard for us in Washington. He is on the conference committee that's going to work out the farm bill for all Kentuckians across our state. And Commissioner, Congressman, thank you very much for your work. You know, it's so good to see several of my Democratic friends here this year. We were missing some of them last year, of course. And uh, just last night, some of the Democrat uh, group rolled into town. They had their bean dinner, and there was a straw poll that was done. It appears Adam Edlin won the best hair contest last night. And apparently today there are some disgruntled folks within the ranks. I think Ms. Grimes is wanting a recount somewhere along the way, and maybe she'll get that. I don't know. It's so good to see you here today, and some of your friends came around. And I guess there was no baseball game this year to attend, so we're here today at this mid-election season. I suppose the midterm election inspired a few more of you folks to come to, to the journey to Fancy Farm this year. You know, there's a lot at stake, and it's really telling that they only care to come when the, your vote is at stake. Sorry, 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 I'm just checking back over my notes one last time to make sure there isn't anything in here that our Attorney General Andy Bashirs could find to sue me over. Speaking of that, you know what? We worked very hard this past session to find a way to save our public pensions. And yet our Attorney General filed a lawsuit against a bill that would have helped save our public pensions. He, along with his cronies in Franklin County, was, un was able to undo what hundreds of people had worked on tirelessly on, the, on having pension reform declared unconstitutional. How's that for tax savings? Wasting your taxpayer money. And as of today, I don't know where we are on pension reform, but maybe we will learn more about their plan on how to fix this mess. You know, one of the bright spots our region that came this past session was the passage of the TVA in lieu of tax bill. You may be familiar with that. When fully implemented, this bill, which will attract, prepare, and locate good opportunities for our citizens in TVA counties, will bring it up to $150,000 for each county to help with the growth of economic development. This aligns perfectly with the Republican agenda, family, economic opportunities, and getting good jobs for all Kentuckians. You know it doesn't matter where you call home. It may be Paducah to Pikeville or Fancy Farm to Florence. Kentuckians can agree on some of these same things. We want safe schools for our kids, great jobs and economic opportunities, vibrant communities in which to live. Republican leadership in the House and Senate, along with their majorities, are working hard to continue to accomplish these things. And it's important that we elect good Republican candidates from all over the state to do just that. Yeah. 
You know, the Commonwealth of Kentucky has tremendous opportunities. In the last two years, with Republican majority in both the House and the Senate, we've only just begun to scratch the surface of what the state could become. I strongly encourage you to support our conservative Republican candidates this fall. Again, thank you and have a good day and welcome to Fancy Farm.